I'm a physics major with a math minor here at Geneseo. I really love to paint mainly people and portraits because um, I'm very fascinated with emotions and how we feel emotions and I try to include a lot of different colors in my works um, because I feel that um, obviously the color adds a lot to the mood of the painting. Um, and I really love to incorporate unlikely colors. In most of the paintings I've done, um, I've done in the past three or so years. Um, a lot of them I've done with uh, my art teacher, Julia Lester, in Yonkers. Um, but I went to LaGuardia High School in Manhattan where um, I majored in visual arts. Um, I really love to experiment with different colors and different emotions, fascinated by emotions and how we feel emotions. And one thing I notice when I'm, when I'm painting or drawing and there's a certain facial expression is that when I am painting or drawing the facial expression, I actually start to make that face. And when I do art, I don't usually go into it with the intention of really creating a statement. I just really love to do it and I really feel drawn to certain subject matters. And um, by the end of me completing the piece, I kind of realize I kind of realized the emotional value that the subject matter had to me. Um, for example, in this piece, um, I, I had a photo of myself crying and I didn't want it, I thought it was just a cool, a cool sort of image to draw. But as I was doing it, I really used it as sort of an emotional release and I really, I really felt the emotion as I was drawing it, which is not something that I'm really aware of. Okay. <laughs> So this one actually, I, um, I walked up to my mom one day and I said, can you take a photo of me in the shower? She goes, what? No. I go, don't worry, I'll be clothed. Um, which then led to a whole host of new questions, but I said, just, just take the photo. So <laughs> I took this photo and I thought that it is very kind of shocking and striking in a way because I tried to look directly at the camera and obviously I'm kind of covering, I'm clothed, but I'm still kind of covering, covering my breasts. Um, and I just thought it was a very kind of um, striking imagery that I thought um, would be nicely translated into a painting. So this one I had a lot of fun doing. Um, I was on the train coming back from school and um, I really, really loved this lady's hat. And I couldn't leave the train without having taken a photo of her hat. So I took a photo and then um, when I was looking at it, I realized that the photo was kind of representative of sort of the dichotomy of New York. There, there are um, kind of these crazy personalities. This guy is kind of looking bored. This lady is very tired. And I thought it sort of showed the, um, the range of feelings and emotions that you would generally see on the New York City subway. And well, I tried to experiment with colors by including the greens and the purples. And, um, and when you step away from it, they all kind of blend together and you won't really notice until you look up close. But um, I thought the, the colors kind of gave it more emotions and more, um, uh, more excitement to sort of add to the New York City subway scene that I'm drawn here. <laughs> um, this piece is called Dinner Date. Um, it is of a boy eating soup and he's on his phone and it's titled Dinner Date because beyond the range of the painting, there is supposed to be um, this, this, this boy's date. Um, and it's supposed to sort of be a statement about how um, uh, we are so constantly glued to our technology. And I am, I am obviously very guilty of this as well, so I am in no way removed from this situation. Um, but I really loved playing with the different colors in this case. Like I tried to include yellows and greens and, and purples and different colors that you wouldn't really um, expect to see in, in a painting. And I spent many months on this and it was, it was, really, it was really fun to do. So my grandma moved to Hawaii with her college sweetheart. She was alone for about 70 years, and then finally she reunited with him. So I visited Hawaii um, to visit her. It was actually my first time on a plane. And um, we went on this long hike, which was very nice. And we found, uh, we kind of went off the, off the path a little bit, and we found this really, really beautiful canopy of trees. And when you looked through, you could see a beautiful waterfall. So, I, I, of course, snapped a photo and I was just totally mesmerized by the scene and I, um, it wasn't, it wasn't this colorful as it was in person, but I, I thought that I wanted to, I wanted to paint this and just as, include as many unlikely colors as possible to really, um, illuminate sort of how majestic it was in person.